Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video and let's just say it feels like it's been a little while but I'm back, I'm refreshed and I'm ready to finish the year strong and that is exactly what I'm going to do. So today I've got 10 easy casual summer outfit ideas for you lot and Let's just say there is some solid, solid looks in this one. I've also got a load of new pieces that I'm styling in today's video that I have, you know, I guess kind of accumulated over the past month or so. And they're pieces that you guys have yet to see. So yeah, I'm definitely intrigued to kind of hear what you guys think. Um, so yeah, as always, do let me know in the comment section down below, you know, which is your favorite outfit? What are you vibing with in terms of the new pieces? All of that stuff, just let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, guys, as always, before we jump into it, smash that thumbs up button because it really helps push the video out to new people. If you are one of those new people, then hit subscribe for weekly fashion content. And last, but certainly not least, hop on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there. I'm super active. Every single day we're posting outfit pictures, outfit reels, and it also gives you guys the opportunity to kind of get a behind the scenes look into my life, into me creating these videos. But on top of that, it also gives you guys an opportunity to get a behind the scenes look into me running my clothing brand Studio Du Jour as well. So if that is something that you guys wanna see, then definitely give me a follow over there. All right guys, so that is enough chit chat. Let's jump in and take a look at 10 summer outfit ideas. Who knows what you think about me? So outfit number one is hitting you lot with all the holiday vibes. This was actually an outfit that I wore on my recent trip to Barcelona and I absolutely love it. We have the blue and white pinstripe shirt from Cos, which I absolutely love, a ribbed vest underneath, my black linen shorts, which are also a new pickup from Arkit, and then my black Birkenstock sandals on foot. Like I said, proper holiday vibes. Next is a slightly more kind of casual streetwear approach. A really simple look, but one that I love equally as much. We have my illicit block racing team tee on top, my weekday Paul trousers on bottom, which are sitting perfectly on top of my Axel Arigato sneakers. And then to finish the outfit off, just a simple black tote bag. Not the one you need right now. And I can't stop time for you. I don't know why we couldn't work this out Because you know I tried the best I could The best I could I can't stop time for you Moving on to outfit number three, and as you can see here, we're keeping it super tonal with the creams and browns. On top, I have this lightweight, slimmer fitting mock neck knitted t-shirt, which is a new pickup from Zara. And I've actually, I've actually been really enjoying styling the kind of slimmer fitting t-shirts recently, especially when pairing them with a wider leg pant. Down from there is the usual olive clothing, balloon leg trousers in the ivory colorway my Birkenstock Bostons on foot, and a simple black crossbody bag. Outfit number four, and we're again kind of sticking with the whole monochromatic look, the very old school kind of, I guess, NCL gallery vibes. So on top, we have this jersey shirt, which is from Cos, my old Zara pleated shorts from last summer, which I think are still an absolute vibe. On foot, we have the Axel Arigato sneakers, and then to finish the outfit off, the Cos mini leather crossbody tote bag. So moving on to outfit number five, and I love this look. This is definitely a new kind of vibe for me. Um, so on top, another new pickup, we have this kind of 
really loose flowy shirt from Arkit. Underneath the shirt we have the same ribbed white vest which is from weekday. Down from there also from weekday we have the brown Conrad wide leg trousers and then the Birkenstock Bostons on foot. Okay, so moving on to outfit number six, and I've got to say, this might actually be my favourite out of the bunch. Although it is super simple, either this or the very first outfit. So on top, we have my simple black slim fitting cos t-shirt. Down from there, we have my wide leg Joshua cargo pants from weekday. And then down from there, what I absolutely love about this look is pairing those cargos with the black leather Birkenstock sandals. I think this looks insane. And then to finish the outfit off, we have my black leather Doc Martin crossbody satchel bag. All right, so moving on to outfit number seven. As you can see, super casual, super simple. This is definitely a lot more of a kind of athleisure look. Um, so on top, we have the basic heavyweight oversized black t-shirt from Studio Du Jour. We have the washed black shorts from Summit UK. We have my Balenciaga tracks on foot. And then I have another new pickup, this kind of oversized slouchy kind of tote bag that I recently got from Zara. Super simple, but yet a great summer kind of athleisure look. Moving on to outfit number eight. And again, this is giving me all the holiday vibes. So to break it down, again, we have the Arkit shirt on top. We have the same ribbed vest layered underneath. Down from there, we have the same um, pleated shorts from Zara, but this time in black. And then to finish the outfit off, we have the black leather Birkenstock sandals. And honestly, I absolutely love these. All right, guys, so moving on to outfit number nine. As you can see, super, super simple. But this is this is just for the days where, you know, it's not too hot out. You want to be super casual and you just want to kind of go about your day, maybe go and grab a coffee or something like that. So to break the look down, on top, we have the white oversized Airism t-shirt from Uniqlo. Down from there, we have my heavyweight cuffed joggers from Studio Du Jour. We have the New Balance 550s on foot. And then we have the beige Solace tote bag. And then last but not least, one of my favorite athleisure summer looks to go with, and that is outfit number 10. We have the oversized white Airism tee from Uniqlo. Down from there, we have the boxy heavyweight shorts from Studio Du Jour, which is my brand, as you guys know. Down from there, the New Balance 50s on foot, and then we have a blue kind of sweatshirt just over the shoulders to finish the outfit off. For you to call me. And there we have it, guys. So that was 10 summer outfit ideas. Now, as always, do let me know in the comment section down below which out of those 10 different outfits were you vibing with the most. Also, guys, comment down below what videos you want to see next. I'm thinking for next week, um, it's going to be my personal kind of 10 summer wardrobe essentials. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what other kind of video ideas you guys have, obviously, you know, based around the fashion niche. But yeah, guys, other than that, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you are new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically a daily vlog. I promise you I am not going to miss a single upload for the rest of the year. We're going ham. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you next week. Peace.